This brief video is going to give you a basic overview of Instant Article Wizard and all of its powerful features and how you can use them. To get started, we'll start a new project and then enter in the first set of keywords we want to use for the article we want to write. Now here's a tip. I happen to know that adding the term is or the term are, if your keyword is plural, to the end of your keywords will often get back more informational research and less commercial research, especially for competitive keywords like kitchen remodeling. So put in your keywords and add is and are on the end if you need to, and then click research. Now what it's going to do, as you can see down here, is it's gathering all of the research data from, in this instance, 100 search results, 100 pages. It's loading and parsing and gathering all the information that is related to kitchen remodeling so that it can build a list of subtopics and show you all the information. Now, once you have that information, and you can see there's a whole lot of it. I'll give you a couple of examples. Kitchen remodeling is among the most popular of remodeling projects each year. As kitchens have become the center of activity in the home. And it gathers that kind of data, that kind of research for you to put together articles super fast. If you want to see where the article came from, where the sentence came from, you just select it and click the www button over here. And that will browse in your default browser to the location of that sentence. Or you can click on the link here. To add research into the article you're going to use, you select the sentences you want to use and click this button here. Or you can right click and go to add. You'll see that now that I've added some research here, there's a green arrow showing here so that you know that you have some information you've selected from that particular subtopic. So you'll go through each subtopic, adding information from the research that is retrieved into your article. Now I'm just doing this very quickly to show you how it works, but if you want to see me gathering an actual set of research data for an actual article, just watch the other video that shows me gathering all of the research necessary to write a top quality article in less than eight minutes. What I'm doing right now is just an overview. Now once you have your introduction and conclusion, if you want to do your conclusion before your subtopics, you next go to each subtopic that you want to gather information for and you want to have as a subtopic in your article and you select the information that you feel applies. Now let's say you run into a situation like this. There's cabinets but there's also cabinet which is singular. Now you want all that research in the same subtopic so what you do is you select the research that you want to use only instead of hitting this button you drag and drop it onto the other subtopic and then you can see it adds all of that in. Now once you've selected all of your research for a particular article, the next thing you can do is see how much you have. Do a preview by clicking this tab. It'll give you the word count and then all of the research that you've collected. To delete sentences, you have a couple of options. You can click this button or you can right click and go to delete. To order the sentences in your research, you can use the arrow keys here. And to copy all of this research that you've gathered to write a, an article from, you can click this button right here, or you can highlight it and then copy using Control C, whatever is easier for you. Now if you have a, a pretty large amount of information for one subtopic, you can break it up into related paragraphs by clicking this button, which will add a paragraph tag, and just moving that tag to wherever it needs to be to separate the information. And then when we scroll down, you can see that it separates it out. Now that's the basics of how to use it. But you're not limited to one set of keywords. You can use more than just one set. Let's say I didn't find enough information under kitchen remodeling for those keywords. I can add another set. Research that and it will add that extra research that it's gathering now into this project so that you can use that research as well. And it will add subtopics or add information to the current subtopics if they're the same. That way, 
your article doesn't sound like it's got the same keyword over and over too many times. And you can do as many as you want. There is no limit. Now once you have all the research gathered that you want to use, you're not limited to using this research one time and then having to go back and reload all of this information, retype in the keywords, try to figure out what you used last time. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is save the project and give it a name. And now you can go back and reload the project later to create more articles from the same project. Makes it incredibly convenient and fast to write as many articles as you can imagine on any subtopic you can imagine, even if you don't know anything about the subtopic. Instant Article Wizard 2.0 also supports a number of languages, English, Spanish, German, French, Italian, and Portuguese. So if you speak or read and write in any of those languages, then you can use Instant Article Wizard to write articles in your language. As you can see, the power of this tool for helping you write articles fast on topics you know nothing about is incredibly powerful and profit-producing.